welcome to the show, Outlier Show, the show that focuses on people who are living on the outskirt of human potential doing something extraordinary. And today we are talking about something magnetic, something like electrifying. And I wanted to start my show with Malcolm Gladwell quotation. And the state said the tipping point is that magic moment when an idea, trend, or social behavior crosses a threshold, tips, and spreads like a wildfire. And you know why? Because today we have special guests. This guest who is a magnetic entrepreneur who actually spread like not a wildfire, but he's so calm and soothing but very powerful person. And today at this show, your host Rizwan Rashid is going to introduce a best friend, Robert J. Moore, five time international awarded bestseller, speaker, coach, publisher, a Guinness Book world record holder, and not only himself, but 126 people he took it with them. He actually coached and impacted over 140,000 people across the globe. Oh my God, uh, you know, his uh, international award-winning best-selling book, The Better Way Formula, Principle of Success was amazing because he not only himself but he bring in one of the uh, uh, the 18 year business partner Kyle Wilson uh, from Jim Brown uh, partnership yeah, like this guy is amazing please help me welcome my friend Robert J Moore CEO of Magnetic Entrepreneur welcome to the show Robert how you doing buddy how are you wow so you are truly an, an outlier. So my question might feel redundant, but for our benefit of our viewers, I wanted to ask you, how do you describe yourself as an outlier, Robert? Well, when you look at the situation, I mean, uh, I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't, I don't actually, I mean, yeah. let's put it this way. How many people do you know are international bestsellers? How many people you know are coaches? How many people do you know are, you know, an author? How many people do you know are plumbers? All the same stuff. It's all the same stuff all the time. So I like to stand out of the box, do things differently to, to impress other people. I mean, something simple like this. Yes. Uh, <laughs> something like that. You know I mean? Do something like that. Get, get endorsements by the right people if you have to. Right, <laughs> you know, and, and get that's the right person, and get recognized by by the right people. I mean, uh, the thing is, when I host these events, right behind me is an event that I hosted last year, and I'm doing partial. I did partially the business person part of it this year, and I'm also doing the uh, the words part of it coming up in November, in person. Mm -hmm. But the summit I did was actually a reflection of the business part of it. Which, uh, I mean, you're going through the COVID and everything else. So, I mean, okay, well, what can I do differently? So, what I did was I had uh, seven or eight uh, trans transcribers, uh, not transcribers, the translators in different countries, right? And then what I did was from there is I also hit 35 countries, five different continents, and we had 3,000 people in a day. So, this, yeah, it was just blew right up. So, I mean, you think, what did I do differently? On that, first, I had people translating in different countries. Second of all, I brought some top, top speakers in, which I didn't just let them speak. I actually interviewed them, right? I interviewed them at the end of the day, two different ones. So the first one was, uh, actually, I had Jack Canfield. No introduction right. there. We all know who he is, Chicken Soup yeah. for the Soul. I interviewed him for 10, 15 minutes, and he loved it. Um, Satish Verma. He's the CEO of Think and, Think and Grow Rich. I also yeah. had I also had one person that actually you got to talk to was really amazing. Do you remember who that was? Kyle Wilson. Kyle Wilson, Jim Rohn's ex business partner, a dear yeah. friend of mine, a co writer, and uh, straight forward. I asked him to come on. I I actually interviewed him for 10, 15 minutes, and then let him tell his story. So I mean, doing something like that put you in the outskirts of things. But not only did that, what else did I do? 
I actually downloaded the whole eight, nine hour day, took out certain parts of the day, like the, the parts where I didn't need to, and I made it MP3, and I transcribed the whole thing and make it into a book. So wow. day one and day two. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to ask you, when you were able to meet, you actually, uh, you know, hired him, you paid him money, what's the first thing, what's the first step, what's the first action you did after the coach had given you some, some kind of a game plan? Well, I, I put action to it. I mean, I'm the kind of person, if I'm going to put my money out there, I'm going to work harder. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to give you something free, I'm going to slough it off. Yeah. Right? That's that's the way I work. I mean, uh, I'm not saying everybody does, but 90% of the people really do. Um, if you bring someone to an event and it's free, 90% of the time they're not even going to come. You know what I mean? I host a lot of events and I see it a lot. That's why I always charge a few dollars here and there because harder money, people don't like to give up easily. So when you're giving that kind of money to somebody and he's coaching it twice a month, um, you, you better be prepared for what's going to happen because if you don't have your work done for that coach, that coach is going to say, listen, are you really into this? If you're not, then I'm out of here. Do you really yeah. want my help? I mean, I wanted this guy's help. I wanted to be seen at different levels. I didn't know how it was going to happen, but I just started doing basically what he was suggesting and started going from there. I mean, that was my first turnaround. I can't tell you my second, third, or fourth, but I've studied 52 of the top achievers in the world and, you know, honestly, like Eric Thomas, the hip-hop preacher, Les Brown, Bob Proctor, you know, you name all these people. Uh, Eric Thomas was one of, one of the mean ones because he, he has a, a yelling match with himself all the time on the camera, if you notice him. He's a hip-hop preacher. But he's also nice and calm when he's actually preaching about, about God and his beliefs. But when he's getting his point across, he wants to let you know. that he, he, He's going to let you know straight up for when you're wrong. And that's what I learned, that – when I coach people, it's better off to let them know that you care more about their business than their emotions at the time because that's that's the way it's got to be. Because if you go into their emotions, you're going you're gonna to enable them to do the bad things. Mm -hmm. so, so for benefit of viewers, what was the first door open for you once you start acting? And I totally agree with that because I coach uh, people too and, and holding people accountable uh, is the key as a coach. And the people who are the coachee have to act on that accountability part of it. This is how the ball rolling. So if once you do that, I know you, you are terrific, you know, the contributor and committed person. What was the first door open to you after the first opportunity? Well, when I started, started learning how to use the algorithm of Facebook and, and, and uh, you know, Twitter and, and LinkedIn, I started seeing people come to me and talking to me. Um, that was really something that was hard to swallow because I was so used to being told negative things, right? Mm -hmm. Instead, now they're sitting there saying, man, we're really liking the way you put that picture out there. It was really cool. Um, you know, actually, for instance, the other day, John Shin got a hold of me and he says, uh, I wasn't even friends with him at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, like, it was like a month and a half ago, I'll be honest, not the other day, a month and a half ago, sorry. Um, and he says, you know what, I like what you're doing and you're actually doing it for mankind. You know, John Shin. And you know who that is? It happens to be the producer of Thick and Grow Rich Legacy. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Big, big guns, big guns. Doing, uh, he's doing a Ford for me as I speak right now. I said, you know, can you do a Ford for me? He said, not a problem. You know? Awesome. Was, you know, I talk to a lot of people that are very high end. And the reason mm -hmm. for that is because I have the knack to be able to make anybody feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And when you make people feel comfortable, people want to be around you. Absolutely. I had to learn how to be like that because I'm going to be honest with you. When I was younger, I wasn't simple. Things weren't simple for me. I was mm -hmm. 16 years in and out of jail. I had a bad anger problem. I was, where I was hanging around the wrong people. I lived on the streets for seven years. Now, in order to be where I'm at today, to be, you know, change of attitude, to change, of, you know, to be able to teach these things I'm teaching. I had to put myself through education. Now, I'm not saying education is the key. I'm yeah. saying you have to be an expert in something you do. 
but I did the, I did the education just for one reason to actually physically learn why I was acting the way I was not to impress anybody. So I went out, got my social service work at diploma, my addiction degree, my BA in psychology, my master's in counseling psychology, my harm reduction, mental health crisis. Then I got nominated for honorary doctorate degree. And I got nominated for author of the year, lieutenant governors and a bunch of different things. At the honorary doctorate, believe it or not, I loved it. I loved the fact that I got nominated for that. I could call myself a doctor, Robert J. Moore, but I, I said, I don't need it. I don't need it. You already too so powerful. You don't need to be called, right? What do I need to be? What do I need to put something like that in front of my name or behind my name? I've just used Robert J. Moore. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows who Robert J. Moore is because I built that person up there, right? Mm -hmm. I built it up there. People know I'm going to back them up. People know I'm going to help brand them. I'm going to dig in deep, find out the core, and get it out. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, you know, uh, for the folks who are just joining us, we have Robert J. Moore, CEO of, of Magnetic Entrepreneur, the person who has been a tremendous authority behind creating events, events like Guinness Book of World Record Holder, bringing people in together and giving a platform to getting people published, get known, and be able to spread their wings and fly free. This is the person who has been behind a number of people's success, but he just started his, his career from an opportunity, and he shared his opportunity by meeting a coach and how he capitalized on it and making sure that he held himself accountable, and with that, he was able to up the ladder of success going forward. Robert, you are an amazing person. We really want to hear more. And we actually want to hear more of Magnetic Entrepreneur, so how you are helping other people off uh, for the new. So we're gonna take a short break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back and give you some more from Robert J. Moore. Stay tuned, Outlier Show. Outlier Show. This is your host, Rizwan Rashid, because we are bringing outliers who are making a difference in their lives, and they are actually sharing this struggle to success, and in between, how they capitalize on the opportunities they came across. I want you, not only watch this show, but also come on this show, because as Malcolm Gladwell say, the key to good decision-making is not knowledge. It is understanding. And with you being the professional and, and successful entrepreneur, the world needs to hear how do you came across and actually capitalize on it. Please connect with me because I want you to be on this show sharing your opportunities and your success so you can get benefit for your business and other people can learn from your understanding. Outlier Show. Come connect with Welcome back. Outlier Show. Your host, Rizwan Rashid, is here with CEO of Magnetic Entrepreneur. A magnetic entrepreneur who is magnetically attracting people. He is magnetically attracting success. He is magnetically attracting the people who are making a difference, creating a platform that is changing the world. Robert, welcome back. Robert, you know, I wanted to know, and, and most of us, when when did you start seeing the growth in your and i know you've been bringing people on board you know helping people you are a coach you are a mentor you are a business partner you are best event creator in my opinion because i was at one of them and you were like amazing so let's let's talk about some success growth because everybody wants to hear that you know success my overnight success basically took a long time because you have to look at the foundation. You have to look at the, the how you're putting things together. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a lot behind the scenes that I did not know as I was being coached and I was actually dragging myself around trying to be better. It, it took me a long time because I got to remember, it took me, I was in drugs and alcohol for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. When I got out of that, I, now I'm almost 15 years clean and sober, and I get all the education, and I utilize that to help consult other people to upbrand them. 
So either they have a business or they're just starting a business out or they're multimillionaires or they're someone famous. It doesn't matter. I, I deal with all different kinds of people. Like Les Brown's daughter, for instance. I'm, I'm, I'm actually certified by Les Brown, but I'm actually coaching his daughter. It's mm -hmm. the reason why is because she doesn't want, she wants to be herself. She doesn't want to be like a father. Her father's got her own, his own little image. You know, that's fine. Let's take you separately. And that's what we're doing. She just loves it. You know, so simply put, when I first started seeing success, it was probably in my first, after my first year. And the reason why I say that is because I had to get clean and sober at the same time. Mm -hmm. In that clean and sober, I had to learn how to be accepted myself in the society because I never knew how to be in society without having a drink or, or, or drug, right? Mm -hmm. So after I started seeing the success, um, that's when, that's probably about the first year or so. What? You know, folks, if, I don't know if you notice, he is so successful, but humble and honest because he didn't want it to like, you know, like I got a success next week, next month. I was able to climb that. He is humble because he openly sharing with you his struggles and successes. Uh, you know, I salute you for that, Robert, because uh, it's it's hard to uh, to open up and become vulnerable in, in front of people. And you are so honest and, and strong that you were able to share. Up. So are you still putting yourself in front of opportunities to gain or continue to gain success? Please, I mean, I'm going to grow for the rest of my life. You know, um, and you know what? If you're the smartest person in the room, get out of there. Personally, get out of <laughs> Is that, you know what you're not learning you're not growing that way so mm -hmm. i've actually buckled down with my coach right my coach and i um i'm guaranteed four spots of media a month and these are high-end media they're not just uh average media that you get into so these are the media that get people recognized mm -hmm. There's i mean anybody can get in any magazine anybody can get in any thing but i mean when you're being recognized at a higher level in these books, like, I mean, so you got Forbes and you got the, the ones right below Forbes. Um, yeah. Those are the ones we're getting into because once you get into Forbes, it's like, it's almost like it's over. I mean, you've done it, right? But we want to be below there and, and we want to keep that chase going, right? Because yeah. you want to keep that chase going all the time. It's mm -hmm. like being on TV shows. It's like being interviewed by some top-notch people. I mean, I was on with Don Green, the CEO of Napoleon Hill. Um, you know, I got an event coming up where there's some very, very, very successful friends of mine coming on. And I'm actually going to interview them, as you know, because I'm actually having you actually do the Zoom stuff for me so I can sit down and relax. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so I know you already give a little bit taste of that. Maybe uh, for viewers who wanted to connect with you, wanted to know more about Magnetic Entrepreneur, how they can be coached, how they can be uh, utilize your platform. What is your newest and, and greatest and latest quest that you are going for? Well, I mean, I always like working with people no matter what uh, level they're at. I can always walk them through a process that can help benefit them. So. Mm -hmm. My quest basically is, is just keep up branding myself at the same time. And that's keep learning because if I keep learning, that just means I can give you more. So mm -hmm. I don't just talk the stuff. I actually walk through the process. I put it this way. I got two of my, two of my students actually in with my coach. And I said, not only am I going to sit there and watch you guys go through it, I'm going to take the course with you guys ah. and guys because I want to make sure I'm growing and, and at the same time. So they're seeing that. They're seeing, well, hey, Robert's taking the course with us to upround himself a little bit more to get more recognized. Now, that is pretty cool because a lot of people won't do that. A lot of people won't jump in and take the course, right? And they do it separately, not with the people. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I got a lot going on right now. I got June 6th, June 7th, I got my actual Magnetic Entrepreneur COVID-19 uh, Business Summit coming up. And I'm going to have Jack Canfield on there, Chicken Soup for the Soul. I'm going to have the CEO of uh, the, the Thick and Grow Rich on there, uh, Satish at the Toronto. I'm going to have uh, Kyle Wilson, which is Jim Rohn's ex-business partner. I've also wrote a book with him. Yeah. Um, you know, I've been on some pretty famous stages, and, and there's also going to be some other people on this that are really, really high end. Um, Armin Morin, he's a top strategist in the world. He's going to be on there. He's going to give strategies how to how to how to become a little bit more excitable in the in the media. 
and, and out there in the real world, how to get recognized better. Um, my coach, uh, Lori A. McNeil, she's going to get up there and speak herself. She's been on, she's been in the media over 500 times a year, wow. 500 times a year. And that's years on end. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So, you know, th this is huge. This summit, I know it, it's uh, love it because uh, the, this is going to open up a whole new ideas and opportunities and, and help them people in there. You have a book coming up which uh, uh, on the lockdown too, right? Yeah, I got the uh, Magnetic Entrepreneur. This will be, I think, my 43rd book or something. I think it's 43rd. Wow. Uh, I decided to come out with a book that I wanted to make it cheaper because people are having hard times right now with the COVID-19 going on, and they're not really having as much money as they used to have. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make it a little cheaper just to help them out. And I said, look, for $97 U.S. dollars, I'll give you a chapter. And it's mm -hmm. like, bang, people are all interested in, they're all in. So here's what they did, right? It's called Magnetic Entrepreneur, COVID-19, the lockdown. Mm -hmm. A little paragraph, basically, of your of your uh, business. How has this COVID-19 affected you? Is it dragged you down? Is it is it actually helped you quite a bit? Personally, I'll be honest with you, because I have a good reputation, I'm not saying that to brag or anything like that. I'm saying that because I'm getting the principles of people coming into to actually work with me. And that's how I recognize that. So the statistics say that I've 10x my stuff all the way through uh, this COVID right now. Okay, okay. So, uh, you know, I really want to ask you this uh, question, uh, Robert, because most of people probably wanted to know uh, that uh, there are like, you know, uh, action, tenacity, consistency. There are other factors also that after you, you get out of opportunity, you understand this is a life changing. What other essential part or essential behaviors you find that is really important or you have observed that was crucial in your success well i mean you just gotta keep being know your why ah you're saying know your why why do you get uh -huh. up in the morning? why do you put your feet on the floor why do you work at that job that you only work 40 hours a week and you, you hate it or love it um mm -hmm. personally, i work i work 120 hours a week to avoid working 40 and that's a fact i mean you know i don't want to work that 40 hour a week again so I make, I sit there and say, listen, you know what, what's my why? I was, mm -hmm. remember I told you before, I was in that jail before, I was eating out of garbage cans. That's obviously part of it. But I got a family here, I got a wife and kids. You know what, I retired my wife years ago and I said, listen, straight up forward, do you wanna work or do you wanna watch the kids? I wanna mm -hmm. watch the kids. I said, that's fine, that just means I gotta work a little harder, that's no problem, which I've been doing. I have to grind, I have to get up. Now listen, I'll get up four o'clock in the morning. I'll put a video out there by six o'clock in the morning. And people say, why do you do that? And I said, listen, all over the world, people are sitting there wondering if they could, you know, talk to someone or, or deal with something. And maybe I got that solution for them that day. I mean, you can go on the Les Browns, no hard feelings, go on the Les Brown stuff. And then he, he could sell you a video. And then all of a sudden you'll be there three weeks later. Well, people don't need it three weeks later. They want it now. It's now. like if you, go, if you go in and they're giving the free stuff away, I'm giving a bunch of free stuff away. It's like going to the going to Metro or something, going to the grocery store, and they got that table of people standing there with a beautiful smile. So, hey, come try this out, right? There's the peanut butter or whatever it is, a new kind of stuff, a new yeah. cracker and cheese, and you taste it. You taste it. You, you take that taste test. You mm -hmm. say, man, that's good. Okay, right over there, it's four ninety nine, right? Yeah. That's how, it's the same thing. So if I'm putting out the free content. Eventually, I'm going to attract that person that really wants to work with me because they know I know my stuff and they like the content. They need to know more. So that's, I mean, that's that's why I like to see it. Wow. You know, you're giving away a lot of uh, really golden nuggets so people can uh, capitalize on this. And, and of course, you have a platform that can help them boost with their... Robert, uh, you are an amazing person. Uh, I know you're you're very successful in terms of events, and I with the bestseller, with the coaches, with the mentorship. What is the last message uh, to give out to people who are looking to be an outlier, who are looking for an opportunity, who are looking for an outlet to go out and be and find their why, maybe, and and how to connect their why uh, from passion to profession. 
What's your last message to, to our viewers tonight? When you're, when you want to be successful, I'm going to tell you a little trick. You put yeah. it, you make the, you do the 18 inch rule. I call it the 18 inch rule from here to here. All right. Uh -huh. Put it mid your heart. All right. Whatever dreams you have, I don't care if it's selling pencils. I don't care what it's doing. All right. Lemonade. I don't care. All right. Uh -huh. If you have a passion for it, you put it from your head to your heart, you're putting that emotion behind it. You're starting to, you're starting to lead yourself in a better position. And second of all, stop worrying about the damn money. All right. The money is going to come if you have your passion properly. You know what? You got to make sure you have your, your, your protection will be your passion will cover up your passion. When I start learning my passion, start giving people solutions to the problems. That's when things start happening, really changing for me. So if you want things to change for you and you want to make it work, Look at your passion because your passion will turn into the fruit that's going to feed the rest of your life. Wow. 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 I, I would say, Robert, I'm just blown away. Your very simple and very practical analogy of 18 inch just blows my mind. And I'm sure a lot of you at home watching us can feel the energy and feel that success coming out of this. Uh, everybody. Please, Robert J. Moore, CEO of Magnetic Entrepreneur, best-selling author, uh, mentor, coach, m m you know, uh, a great event uh, player who is bringing a lot of changes to life. Uh, we have tonight a Robert J. Moore who was sharing with his uh, with his first opportunity. Until now, we have over 140,000 people. In fact, before coming to the show, uh, he just described he was just ending the call with this one of his men mentee. Uh, and uh, today is his birthday. So happy birthday to you, Robert. And uh, at, at the end of this uh, outlier show, I wanted to end with the Malcolm Gladwell uh, quotation, which actually fits the bill. Uh, that practice isn't the thing you do once and you're good. It's the things that make you good. And Robert said it very uh, nicely that you create, you find the why, and then either you add a pleasure in someone's life or remove a pain, you become successful. Money is secondary. Robert, it has been an honor for you having on the show of an outlier. I appreciate you know, and because of my birthday, I think I'm going to start relaxing the rest of the evening. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, keep watching Outlier Show, the show that bringing in personalities from around the globe, the people who are making the difference in their lives and lives for millions of people around them. A show that is based on an opportunity because one is the opportunity that could change your life and we bring in different people who have capitalized on that opportunity so your host Rizwan Rashid until next time take care